All right, so why is goal setting important to your life right now? Regardless of the age, regardless of your social status, whatever it is, you need to have three to five set goals that are harder than anything you can imagine. And I don't want to mean that, and I don't want to say that just to be exaggerated, but I mean that in terms of your goals have to be bigger than you know, just waking up in the morning and saying, hey, let me tie my shoe. Um, Because those are things that you can do in an instant, correct? Like I can learn how to tie my shoe right now. I can learn how to, you know, make some, uh, some type of soup right now. So I've been reading a lot about the science of how to achieve your goals. And there are a lot of things that go on in your brain that have to do with goal setting. And I'm not going to dive in into the science very deeply, but from what I've learned and from what I take away is setting monthly goals that will help you towards your bigger goals in life. So if one of your goals is to be a business owner, then your small goals during the month are going to are going to correlate to helping you achieve that end result. And I know it's beautiful picturing the end result. Here, I'm going to take off this Vimeo thing. I don't know how to take it off, guys. So keep, um, just bear with me here. I'm really trying to learn like new softwares, new things so I can, you know, better show you the things that are going on in my computer. But we're going to go ahead and go on my, I'm going to open this big in big size. Go on Trello. Oh, Sorry, I'm trying to type Trello. I'm trying to type with my... Okay, you can see there how to screen record, da 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 da. Okay, Trello, so let's go on Trello. Bear with me, guys, like I said, I did get a hand fracture, so I didn't get it, it happened. But let's go to my board. So Trello is an awesome software that I have learned about like two years ago, and this is what I do to stay on track with my goals. And for me, I like to have my goals in buckets. So I like to have health goals, wealth goals, love, happiness, as well as my physical, you know, my physical exercises, which are boxing and the gym. My bigger goals for this, keep in mind, like I'm also trying to, you know, set bigger goals for myself. So I'm also learning in this process. So, you know, just bear with me again. But My year goals are to pass my CNA program, learn how to speed read. So I'm doing a course for speed reading, which will help build the skill of being able to comprehend more, being able to read a little bit faster, as well as being able to just comprehend what I'm reading instead of just reading and not really knowing. But so whatever. So I have my three goals here, right? And... These are the things that I'm going to do every single day to achieve those goals. So a lot of the, a lot of these goals may not correlate 100%, but there are things that are going to help me prepare myself for those things. So for my health, I'm going to meditate for 15 minutes. And I'm saying I'm going to because I'm going to. It's been a while, so I'm going to meditate for 15 minutes. Um, that will help me with my peace. It'll help me calm down my nervous system. Also, learning about my pelvic floor, so making sure that, you know, I have a stronger pelvic floor. No sugar, because sugar correlates to more PMS, like I've said in my other video. And, of course, doing my speed reading course. Um, And you guys get the idea. You guys get the gist of it, right? The Keep in mind, goal setting is... Goal setting is a is is a thing that we learn throughout our lifetime. Goal setting will not only make you more productive, it will make your habits stronger, but it will keep you a happy, consistent human being. So when you have goals that you're chasing every day, whether it's you know setting boundaries in your love life, I'm just reading mine mine from here. Um, having less cravings. You know what? I'm not a perfect human, and I do get cravings and I fall for them sometimes. So that's something that I'm personally working for myself. So I can be as optimized as I can be for my CNA program, right? So some of these things might not correlate, but this is how I chunk down my goals. This is how I make my life easier. And I know, and I know that 
it will help you 100% because not only will it make you a better human, it will make you more optimized, it will help you be more fulfilled and will give you more confidence. And by that, I mean confidence in, within yourself. You're going to be like, you know what? I can wake up in the morning and I can finish this audiobook. I can run two miles. I can learn this new trick um, in boxing. I can learn this new skill that's going to help improve my career, my, you know, my, my, my business. I can start a business and I can, uh, sorry, and I can start off a new venture. So it's there's there's a lot of there's a lot of positive things that come from goals, but we get a lot of dopamine in our brains when we just write things down, right? So I'm getting a lot of dopamine just by even seeing this. So you don't want to fall for the trap of just writing down goals and just getting excited about it. Being you know, because like for me back in the day, two years ago when I started goal setting, I would just get so excited about seeing goals when in reality I was doing nothing. So we don't want to get caught up in that, ladies. Like, we want to be able to wake up in the morning and do something. Push the needle 1%. Like, how can I push the needle by spending less, spending $40 $40 or less a month for myself? Okay, so one, not spending money out eating. Get some salmon, get some broccoli, and do it at home, right? Just little things like that. Making sure that you're conscious and aware of things that will either take you closer to that goal or lead you away from that goal and i know that this channel is meant to you know to help improve you i think i know exactly where i want this channel to head i have been learning so many different mindset um mindset tactics and mindset skills that i want to share with you ladies and we don't only want to look good on the outside of course we do but we also want to make sure that this guy in here is being worked on as well because it's kind of like a rotten apple that's what i like to to think like i'll be a rotten apple if i look good on the outside and i'm not doing anything on the inside to really improve my life right um that's that's to me that to me is just simply not living so yeah so you know i just wanted to sum this all up and take the time to write down your goals it doesn't have to be on trello you can write it down on paper whatever works for you, put it up on your wall and think about, ah, before I leave, stick around because I'm going to tell you a lot of things that that people will tell you, but I'm just going to reverse it. So a lot of people say, when you set a goal, think about the end result. You want to know about the end result, correct? Yes, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And like I said, it has a lot to do with that chemical in your brain, dopamine. Um, it gets you excited thinking about, oh, you know, I, you know, I want to be, I want to have a lot of money. I want to have this kind of car. I want to be able to own this house and, and not have to worry about like gas or blah, 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 blah. You have to think about how shitty you will feel if you don't achieve these things. How shitty I will feel if I don't stretch every day. How shitty I would feel if I kept giving in to my cravings, because these things won't pop up tomorrow. It's not instant gratification. You know, if I decide to eat that piece of cake today, it might not show up tomorrow, but it will show up in years to come if it stays consistent. And that's where a lot of health problems arise when you're older, because there are things that just compound off of each other in the now. So think about, think about this when you're going into your goal setting and also you know, trying to pursue these goals. Sorry, I didn't bring my my water. But think about how it will affect you if you don't do it now. How, think about the failure. Once again, think about the failure. Now I'm going to go because I have a beautiful daughter to take care of. And I hope that this video is something different. I want to keep making videos where I, you know, show you things on my computer because there are things that I do as a 22 year old. Um, I'm not saying I'm going on at 23, but that's not far from 22. So um, I just want to be as optimized and I want to teach you ladies how to push for your goals, how to be better physically, mentally, and strong. Sorry, how to be better (laughs) physically, mentally, spiritually, everything just being well-rounded and i want to thank you so much and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
and I will be back next week with more content. Thank you so much.